We'll begin the second half in Lafia, where Governor Abdullahi Sule has initiated a move to restore peace between the Basa and Ibira ethnic groups in Nasarawa state. The peace move was made at a meeting held at the government house Lafia to bring an end to the age-long feud between the two tribes. Godwin Aguam was there. One after the other, traditional rulers and leaders of five ethnic groups of Basa, Egwira, Gede, Thieves and Bagi gather at government house in Nasara State for a peace pact. The meeting is at the instance of Governor Abdullahi Suli. For ages, Egwira and Basa communities have been a loggerhead in total local government. This crisis has led to the displacement and death of thousands of persons, including the loss of properties worth millions of naira. Other tribes such as Gede, Bagi, and Tif coexisting with them have also been affected by this crisis. The former administration of Tanko Amakura had issued an executive order creating a separate chiefdom for Basa community. But this directive seems inadequate as there is no clear cut demarcation of their areas of jurisdiction. But at this meeting, the two warring tribes have agreed to go back and iron their differences. Already we know the problem in that area. It is not my wish that we sit here and discuss and everybody will say, this is the man that started it, that is the man that started it. No. We all know what happened there. But what I want us to discuss is that we cannot say that Basa people will not come back to that area. Never. They will come back to the area, they know where their villages, everybody should go back to their villages. Well, our ancestors have lived there for over 300 years. We all know our boundaries. We know our territories. We didn't need CFOs to know who owns what and who doesn't own what. And what the government is saying is sit down and discuss like brothers. But we have tried to use the axe and the hammer it didn't work. Go home as a family and discuss this matter. Then come back to us. I think that's a fair position. The National State Governor is delighted over the decision of the two tribes and are hopeful of a permanent reconciliation. This administration is an administration that wants to be proud that we have done something. We have brought brothers back together. We have stopped our people from suffering outside the state. Yeah. You know, those, are, those are just the things that we are looking at. And I'm happy that people like our father, the Ohimike Opanda, and all those who have spoken are also thinking in this direction. A public hearing will be held at the Nasra State House of Assembly and a law passed to demarcate the area of jurisdiction of the two traditional rulers. This, the government believes, will bring about lasting peace in the troubled communities. Godwin, Agwan, TVC News, Lafayette.